Earlier this week, a video featuring an Azram supercat, Frank and Sam, surfaced online. Early on the 8th of February, Ukrainian Telegram channels began sharing a video pulled from TikTok, which is likely the first daylight footage of one of the UK-developed and supplied ad hoc air defence systems. The system can be seen parked by the side of the road and was filmed by a passing vehicle. The date and location of when the video was filmed is unknown. The launcher appears to have two AIM-132 advanced short-range air-to-air missiles loaded with the launcher ramp raised in the ready position. It's difficult to make out, but the cab appears to have been fitted with a protective screen to guard against drone attacks. Also visible is what appears to be a sensor turret mounted just behind the cab. This is possibly an electro-optical infrared sensor used for targeting. The UK-developed system is one of several so-called Frankensams produced by Ukraine's allies. They're part of a broader effort to affordably and quickly bolster Ukraine's air defences. In October 2023, a pair of videos shared by the Ukrainian Air Force gave a glimpse of the system in action. Both the videos were filmed at night and the first shows a launch, but the vehicle isn't visible. The second, shared on the 12th of October by Ukraine's Air Command South, shows the successful engagement of a Russian long-range loitering munition. As the darkness is lit up by the missile's launch, the Supercat 6x6 yeah! high-mobility transporter <laughs> is briefly visible. The AIM-132 missiles and the vehicles launching them were provided by the UK in the summer of 2023. Azram uses infrared homing and can lock onto its target after launch. It has an air-launched range of more than 25 kilometers, but this is likely shorter when used in the ground-launched role. The system can be used in conjunction with radar systems, which feed target data to the missile. A key feature of the ASRAM is its ability to lock on after launch, theoretically allowing it to be vectored onto target in the air before it begins IR homing. The system, however, isn't ideal with limited ready-to-fire capacity on the launcher ramp with just two rails, and there's no protection for the missiles themselves from either the elements or potential fragmentation or impact damage if attacked. The ad hoc air defence system first saw action in Ukraine in August 2023 and represents an ingenious improvisation utilising a highly capable missile in an air defence role it was never envisaged in. The UK Ministry of Defence summarised the system's development. In summer 2022, a joint MOD MBDA team developed air defence systems to fire ASRAM from the ground for the first time. Within four months of initiating the service launched ASRAM project, these air defence systems were developed, manufactured and trialled, and Ukrainian crews were trained on their usage on UK soil before being transferred into Ukrainian hands. It's unclear how many of the systems have been assembled, but in late 2023, it was reported that the UK had supplied a handful of the missile-equipped Supercat trucks. They were believed to be in use near the front and in the Kyiv region, defending key infrastructure against Russian long-range loitering munition attacks. In December 2023, the UK Ministry of Defence announced that a further 200 ASRAMs would be provided to Ukraine and that the systems in-country had achieved a successful hit rate reported as high as 90% against some Russian air targets. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. As usual, if you'd like to, please do consider supporting us via Patreon or via the History of Weapons and War app. Supporting via either of those helps me to continue making these videos. Thanks again for watching, catch you next time.